Hello Capricorn, welcome to your bonus reading for April 2021. The reason why you are getting a bonus reading, most of you will be aware already I'm sure, is because I am officially rubbish and I was not able to bring you a yearly spread. Those yearly spreads lasted around two hours, so that means I owe you four bonus spreads to make up for my terrible, terrible failing there with Capricorn Nation. This is your second bonus, so do expect for May and June to continue to receive bonus readings. I'm going to do what I did last week. I'm going to pull you a Celtic cross. Maybe we will tap into the same timeline, the same storyline for the same collective. Maybe we'll pull something completely brand new for you guys. Um, so if you did resonate with last week's, then keep watching. If you didn't resonate with last week's, keep watching. Let's get some cards on the table for Capricorn and see where we go today. Your central energy is the Queen of Pentacles. It's your queen. Beautiful, beautiful, nurturing, supportive, patient, reliable, like a solid rock that everybody else can lean on. If I ever thought of a more Capricorn kind of energy, it's that, that solid, grounded, loyal, supportive rock. Beautiful. What's crossing you? The Justice card. Okay, we might be tapping into something similar from last week because this means there's something going on here that's kind of unfair. We will explore with the clarifiers as always what lies at the root of this situation is the Judgment card. Yeah, we're, we're pulling similar cards. This was your central energy for the main reading last week. If you haven't watched the main reading already, it might be worth Hopping on over there to have a look. Those are the purple thumbnails. What lies at the in the recent past is the nine of... Okay, somebody's been kind of selfish here for sure, Capricorn, and I certainly feel it was not you. Um, I think somebody's leaning on you a little bit too heavily and perhaps I think you're starting... You know, I think you're just... I think there's somebody here that you're kind of always here for always ready to support, always ready to drop what you're doing and give this person your time and attention when they need you. Beautiful, beautiful quality for you to have. A beautiful gift that you are able to provide for somebody there, especially in their moments of need. But I do believe you're reaching the conclusion here that it's not really equal. I don't, I think you're recognizing that what if I needed this person in this, you know, if I needed to lean on them in the same way that they have leaned on me, would, would they be there for me too in the same way? Would they drop everything in the way that I drop everything? Would they say how high if I said jump? Yeah, I think you're questioning that. What's on your mind is the King of Swords. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think you're starting to feel a little bit used. There's, there's, the, there's no reciprocation here maybe there's a little but I think this person's certainly taking the lion's share of the friendship here seems to be all about what you can do for them coming in in the near future absolutely I mean this this spread is screaming issues of recognizing that there is a lack of reciprocation here um, that there is no balance. The balance is not equal. This is not in a relationship of equal give and take here. Advice and guidance, three of cups. Okay, maybe focus in on somebody else or some other people for a while. Um, we will, again, we'll clarify. What do you need to know, Capricorn? Yeah, okay. It's not very nice, is it? I don't think it's very nice. I think this revelation, this realisation that you're coming to has kind of left you feeling a bit... Maybe you have consistently been there for somebody and actually there was one instance where actually you could have done with a friend and they were a complete no-show. And you're like, oh wow, I see how it is. Wow, okay. 
that sucks. Hopes and fears. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's, it's not very nice. It's not a very nice feeling. I wouldn't say you're kind of ripped to pieces by this, but it's not sitting right with you. It just feels very, very unfair. And I think it's left you feeling kind of stunned. You know, Capricorns are grounded, stable, secure. You're not generally a sign that needs to lean heavily on other people. But we all have moments. And I think for the most part, you are quite happy for others to lean on you. But I think maybe there was one instance where actually you could have just done with a friend. And again, they were, they were nowhere to be seen. And you feel like, you know, I've done this for you a hundred times. And I asked for this favour to be returned once. And it didn't happen. Your ultimate outcome here is the Empress. Beautiful, beautiful. I do, however, feel here and here that you do have people in your life. I, I, I believe you do have people in your life um, that are possibly more reliable, uh, more genuine, more sincere. Um, I think the sad revelation here is that I think you're recognising perhaps there's somebody here that kind of just in it for what they could get out of you. There was certainly never any intention here for... It's kind of like, what are they bringing to the table, you know? You know your value and you know your worth and you know how, how and in what ways you're contributing towards this relationship, friendship, partnership, however this is resonating for you. You know exactly what you bring, but you're kind of scratching your head a little bit about what it is they're actually contributing here. And I think you're reaching your limit with it. Um, certainly recognising it, I think it's been quite an upsetting revelation. Yeah, you just feel a bit used. Yeah, okay, so this brings the central energy into the mind here because now we've got the King of Swords here twice. Now, the King of Swords is kind of ruthless um he puts his emotions to one side and he and he basically looks at the facts here i think that's you i think that's what you're doing i think somebody around you is kind of selfish kind of rude kind of gluttonous lazy um certainly in it for what they can get and you're trying to remove your emotions for this person out of the picture for now you, you're not ignoring them or denying those emotions you've just backed them up and put them to one side and now you're looking at the cold hard facts and thinking yeah this is no good this is no good this is not okay um we're, we're tuning into a similar kind of thing that we saw last week last week was far more dramatic honestly with all of the major arcanas there's a few majors here on the table today but not not in the way that we saw last week um this feels a little more pragmatic and detached less emotionally involved um less anguish yes there's cards of challenges and sadness and grief for sure um but it's almost like huh okay yeah i can see this now and you did end up with the sun last week so perhaps this is kind of a little bit of the after math here this justice card is the thing that very much suggests how the unfair nature of what's going on here with this maybe yeah okay maybe you go way back with this person Maybe you've known this person for many years. Maybe you feel pretty connected to them. Maybe you have children in common or, you know, there's some other external thing that kind of holds you together, like a community or children or family ties, or you've got like a, a communi communal friendship group. So it's not been that easy to pull away from this person. Honestly, I don't think you've really even recognised you need to pull away from this person until this point. This is the moment of kind of cold revelation that, yeah, this... 
I need to just see this person for who they truly are, honestly. I need to use my judgment. I feel this is, you know, sword up here, judgment card here. This is about revelations. This is about seeing what's kind of been in front of your face for a while. I think the reason why you've struggled to see it is because there, there was a connection. There absolutely was a connection, I think, perhaps with this person, maybe a soulmate, maybe a very deep romantic connection here. Maybe you were just pretty tight with this person at some point here but I think you're just recognizing that it's the kind of it's not equal there's nothing about this connection here that's equal and you've given a lot and received something that's entirely disproportionate how much have they truly shared with you? How much do they truly give to you? How often are they really there for you? Perhaps you're not massively needy. Capricorns are not needy. So perhaps and the opportunity for this person to really be there for you in the way that you have consistently been for them has simply not arisen until recently. And that's exposed how unequal this is what's going on here yeah wow okay you can see it it's the revelation it's the waking up it's waking up and thinking okay you're hearing the call the writing's on the wall you see it um and you feel used Here they are in the past, kind of keeping it all for themselves, not sharing, gluttonous, selfish behaviour. Did you see it then? Mm, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. But, you, you know, the King of Cups is, is very loyal um, and will absolutely stand up for other people. Maybe, in, you know, on some level, you've been a little bit of a champion for this person you've tried to separate yourself from the drama but still be this person's friend and and have a degree of compassion for them or it's kind it's gentle i think you had a lot to give and i think they willingly took it i do think you saw this person was far from perfect but you know you, nobody's perfect absolutely abs nobody's perfect people often are very self-absorbed you know we're all just trying to get through life and 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 we all have moments where we're kind of a bit blinkered and very focused in on ourselves it's not a crime it doesn't make you a terrible person i think you've seen some, the red flags you saw the red flags but you gave this person the benefit of the doubt no longer however um you've moved from the king of cups into the king of swords you don't muck around with the king of swords the king of swords doesn't muck around he deals with what is right and what is wrong it's very binary thinking there is no gray area here it's either you're doing the right thing or you're not doing the right thing we could argue against that stance but sometimes it's a necessary place to go into. The two of ones, Mars in Aries, forceful, aggressive, strong, headstrong, decisive. Mars in Aries, the god of war in its natural habitat. Strong, yeah. Uh, you're not going to be swayed. I think you're stepping into your power. I think you are kind of affronted. I think this person was rude. And actually, yeah, it's an affront. It's offensive. Yeah, this that's the energy. And it's moving into the future. This is you very much recognising it needs to be equal, give and take. And you will move into this space of protecting yourself and your own self-interests in the future. You will give to the energy that is prepared to give to you an equal exchange it doesn't mean we have to have a dramatic big bust up or a falling out but you 
adjust your expectations accordingly. Yeah, that's what you're making happen for sure. That's the vision you have, that you have a very clear vision. You're very committed to the task of ensuring that you will give to what is giving to you. You will give what you get and take and receive on an equal level, equal footing. And if something, if somebody is not giving to you, you have no intention of giving back to them. It's good energy. It's good. It's healthy boundaries. It's really strong, healthy boundaries in terms of the energy that you are prepared to invest in other people and you're sh certainly shifting into this well i will invest in the correct places from now on only um i'm a, a big big supporter a big advocate of doing that i have i could count my close friends on one hand seriously um with probably a couple of fingers to spare to be quite frank um i am not big on having many 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 friends i'm not interested um, I would prefer to devote my time and energy to those few truly trusted special people that do have time to invest in me and in their connection with me and their friendship with me. And they will absolutely get that energy in return. I would drop anything for those few friends. And it's, it's, it's a mutual relationship we both know that we would be there for each other when the chips were down i have friends that i know would drop everything in an instant should i ask and they know i would do exactly the same for them those are the kind of connections that w we would like that is not the kind of connection that you're going to have with all and sundry we very much live in this world now where everybody is kind of on, on the internet and social media and we want hearts and clicks and likes and comments and um, they're not your friends. They don't know you. They have their own lives. You know, just because all of these people would not drop their entire life for you in a, in a heartbeat because you needed a friend does not make them bad people. But it's, it's about quality over quantity. I think that's the space you're moving into now and you're you're very clear on your expectations and your boundaries and I really like the strength that's coming through here. Your advice and guidance is to I would say keep your friendship group or your the people that you have around you small and tight knit. Okay, right that changes things slightly honestly um yeah the three of cups it's lovely it's a card of coming together and friendship for sure yeah festivity having a drink celebrations good times it's good times card but it, it's it can be a little superficial um surface value friends fair weather friends the kind of friends that you go get drunk with but you know if you were talking about a really deep childhood wound that has impacted your life that's these are not the people for that these are the people to get drunk and have a laugh with um which is, which is great but it's not that depth of connection that level of true vulnerability um and this is you turning your back on the superficiality again this feels very decisive Capricorn I love it what you need to know is that sometimes when we cut people out of our lives because they are not ultimately for our highest good it, it still hurts it still hurts but I like the fact that the swords are taken out of the heart now and the healing process has begun I do think that being forced into a position where you have had to adjust your expectations has been a disappointment for you. What you would have preferred is for people to simply match your energy because you did give so much. Yeah, look at this. Queen of Pentacles again, that loyal, giving, humble, patient person that is that solid rock. And I think it's sad that they took all of that they or you know being either one person or a plural you know two or three maybe more people it, it's sad it's sad that they took what they could get and you have had to arrive at the conclusions that you've had to arrive at that's that's sad 
This is not what you wanted. You didn't choose this. But you are acting in a very decisive way based on the cold hard facts of the truth of what it is you're seeing. Your hopes and fears here, well, it's preying on your mind. It is weighing on your mind. Um, you're kind of overthinking it a little bit here. In terms of, should I stay or should I go? It's Capricorn energy, it's your energy. The sun in Capricorn, clinging on too hard, consider letting go, that kind of scarcity mindset. Um, you know, what if I'm only left with, like I said, quality over quantity and I could count my close, true, real friends on one hand with fingers to spare. Well, that doesn't leave you with very many, does it? And that can be scary, especially if you are surrounded by many, many people and you enjoy having, you know, being able to say that you have a, a, a wide, large group of friends. Um... I think it's time to separate the wheat from the chaff, Capricorn. That's what the Empress would do. Look at this beautiful wheat field here. Look at you sitting in your power, knowing your value. Now we're talking. Yeah. You'll be committed to retaining that recognition of your own value. That's where you're ultimately going to heading in, in regards to all of this. You know your worth. You, as I said at the very beginning, you know what you are bringing to the table here. You know what you have to offer. You know it's a lot. You know people in your life should be grateful and lucky to have somebody as solid and stable as you. Somebody as reliable and loyal as you. Somebody who would be there. You're under no doubt about who you are. This has not left you feeling, or ultimately will not leave you feeling like you're worthless, like you're not good enough. It's a lesson to learn in life. And I think you're learning it like a boss. I really do. That was your bonus reading Capricorn for April I can see that there were certainly elements of this that absolutely could well have fit for some of you with the main reading that was up last week the purple thumbnails um, if you haven't seen that as I said do consider checking that one out as well I'll be back next week with both sides of the story for you Capricorn maybe you will continue to tap into this kind of thing it's been with us for a couple of months now, Capricorn, honestly, this kind of thing. More you dealing with difficult or problematic friendship kind of relationships rather than something of a romantic nature. For some of you, perhaps there is romance entangled with all of this, but it doesn't feel like that's really the focal point for you. And it hasn't for a couple of months now, so... As always, good luck with this and I do hope I was able to give you a little something, a little insight, a little bit of advice and guidance there to help you with this. As I said, I'll be back with both sides of the story next week. Do take care.